CEOs are busily restructuring their supply chains as they deal with the worst supply chain crisis in living memory. Typically, they are switching suppliers and finding new vendors at home, so what we call reshoring, closer to home or nearshoring, or closer to their consumer markets. This activity represents a dramatic reversal in the way companies run their businesses. For the past 40 years and until the devastating COVID pandemic, companies focused on building supply chains that spanned the globe as they pursued the most affordable suppliers. This offshoring activity dominated sinking in procurement functions of the major global companies. Now, their stated purpose is to secure the supply of essential components and raw materials, affordable energy and manufacturing services. They are being helped and encouraged by governments eager to protect national supplies of products such as semiconductors. As an example, in July, the US Congress passed the Chips and Science Act, which has reserved $52 billion for the microchip industry over five years. These actions are driving the new reshoring phenomenon and are bringing buyer companies ever closer to their suppliers. In my view, this is likely to lead not only to greater security of supply, but also to a bumper period of corporate innovation. As I and my co-authors explain in our new book, Profit from the Source, suppliers can be powerful drivers of the corporate innovation engine. You only have to look at the way Apple operates to see what we mean. Apple doesn't actually make anything. Also, while it spends a lot of money on R&D, it spends less as a proportion of its revenues than rivals such as Microsoft or Google. This begs the question, how does it stay ahead of competitors? One of the ways it does this is by fostering a collaborative culture with suppliers. This was critical to the success of one of Apple's greatest, if understated, innovations, the unibody chassis for its MacBooks. A traditional PC notebook chassis is made from around 15 components that are glued or screwed together. After research and multiple discussions with suppliers, Apple's experts found a way to make chassis that are not only more cost effective, but also smaller, lighter, stronger and aesthetically more pleasing. And they achieved this by shaping aluminum with CNC milling machines. Once Apple was satisfied with the result, they then bought up nearly the entire global supply of CNC machines and installed them at the factories of their suppliers. By doing this, Apple secured a supply chain, which meant its rivals were unable to quickly follow its example when the unibody chassis became a hit with consumers. Apple recognizes that suppliers can be a source not only of cost savings, but also innovation. As they secure their supplies of vital goods and services, other companies should do the same. I'm Christian Shu, and this has been a new segment of my channel, Procurement in the Park. Thank you for watching. And if you're a first time visitor, please hit the bell and subscribe. Bye.